to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Dime. You know, my dime, taking up your time. We're going to jump right in with a hair wash. You always want to start with a clean head. I don't care if you walk in with water dripping down your face. I'm going to wash your hair. You notice we want to get into those edges. Make sure we're getting good into the scalp. If you have locks, you know that they, your locks hold so much dirt. They just hold so much. So you want to make sure you find a loctician that scrubs your locks. You want to make sure you find a loctician that is taking the time to rinse out your locks. There's no way that you can rinse out my hair in two seconds. I need to be rinsed out until there are no bubbles left. Make sure you find somebody that not only wants to do your hair, but actually cares for your hair. So today we're doing a lock petal bun. Here you see me sectioning off the hair. This is something that I like to do so that I have more control over what's going on in my style. I normally section it off into this exact same sectioning, two at the top, pull the middle, and then I start pulling up the back. So here you see me making a part. This client, actually, I started her locks. She has triangle parts in the back, and then at the top, she wanted regular square parting going on. Now, she just knew that it was over with for her triangle parts. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was over with as well. But as I kept going, I'm like, okay, girl, we still got the parts. Everything's still there. You haven't missed anything up. So let's just get into this real quick. Um, Y'all see me parting, remembering where those triangle parts are. I wish I had a story time, but I don't. I never do. This is something that I like to do. I personally like to use my comb so that I can grip everything. And honestly, looking back, I wish I would have angled these locks just a little bit differently. Like normally if I'm doing an updo, I'm going to angle the locks in whichever way the style is going to go. Um, that lock right there, that was the one she was scared about the most. But as you can see, I clipped that thing right on there. Now here we go. We're going to do some section and pull off another, ooh, pull off another part. I know that feeling. Um, <laughs> we're going to pull up another part, baby. And me personally, I'm going to always part the hair and I'm going to always apply the product. And then we're going to get into the twist. Now, I think she still has the triangle parts going on. So I'm just going to play a little music and let y'all watch this because it's the same thing. Once again, parting and retwisting. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Let y'all know what's going on. If you notice, you'll see me doing this little spin around thing. Watch. Palm, 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 and spin around. That right there helps me to lock the lock in place and keep it from moving everywhere. Because as you notice, I'm using the same clip for about like three or four locks at a time. Now, if you just did it the regular way without that little loop-de-loop -loop thing going on, as you try to clip more clips... The other ones that you did are going to start loosening up on you. And nobody wants to go back and do extra work. It's just like yours were meant for mine. Sun kiss skin, taking it all in the morning. Dive deep, just dive deep. Come on in. As you can see, as I'm parting, there's like miscellaneous hairs in different places going on i'm kind of trying to keep the same parting going on but i'm also not trying to cause too much breakage to the hair as well you will see as i keep going through when i come back through and i start back doing the retwist after this parting you will see that i kind of 
adjust the partings just a little bit to kind of make sense with what really should be going on. Like I said, it has been a minute since I've seen this particular client. So, um, yeah, it's some reconstructing going on just a little bit, just a little reconstructing, not too much. Come and tell me, will you jump in? I love doing my client's hair whose locks that I started because it makes the process so much smoother, so much faster. We're literally out of there in two hours. This one didn't take two hours though because you know we were in there talking, playing, eating. Just really having a ball. I didn't have another client till like three, four hours later. So we were really just catching up with each other. And, you know, doing the girl thing. What girls do in the shop. Now, right here, I believe the part started. Oh, no, there's still triangle. There's still triangle. I think after this row is when they're going to start getting into the square party. They say everything happens. For a reason, is that true? Now, I won't even hold you. Some of her parts were just a little bit off. But like I said, and like I tell all clients, over time, your locks are going to do whatever it is that they want to do. Especially if you're not going to your lactation, you know, regularly. And when I say regularly, I'm saying two, maybe three months. Definitely two months for sure if you're the type of person that is always wanting to re-switch your hair don't jump from chair to chair that's how you cause breakage like i don't know if y'all saw that instagram post where it says your style is telling you to stick with them it's not them being so it's not us being selfish at all we want the healthiest for your hair and if you jump from me to stool to pam stool might retwist a different way Pam might cut your hair and then you're going to come back to me and I'm going to be like, like, what the, you know, we're going to work it out, but please try to stick with at least just one client, one lot tissue. Maybe in the next life, true love will last. Maybe in the next life, maybe in the next life. I swear you love skipping stones onto my heart. Destiny is probably trying to pull us apart. You said from the signs of the moon that who I really am wasn't clear to you. And what are you doing? All right, so I don't know if y'all have noticed that after I do that twist, boom, boom, you see I wipe it down. And I do that because I try to keep from having that white residue after my client comes from up under the dryer. As long as, now in my house, at the dime's place, you're going under the dryer. And you're going under there for at least 20 minutes. You, you have to. But like I was saying, I like to wipe the lock down because that keeps from that white residue. And it also keeps you from having to be under there more than 20 minutes because the residue won't go away or anything like that in grass maybe in the next life true love will last maybe in the next life maybe in the next life hey man don't judge me i do not like to dip my fingers from your scalp to even though i just cleaned your scalp i still don't like to dip my fingers from your scalp into my great bowl of product i want to scoop the product onto my little wristband and i also don't want to put my hands inside of the product so real quick because i was running my mouth i know y'all saw me pull out the crochet pick the edges are a very sensitive time so i needed to crochet in that hair that was just kind of sitting there now you have some people that would just, you know, palm roll it into each other. But me personally, I will minimally use the crochet pick because since it's her edges, I still didn't want to be too, what is it, too rough on her edges. I just wanted to do it just enough so that I can pull that hair back together. Now let's jump back in. We are doing the square parts again 
let's just finish this thing on up. So real quick, I want to tell y'all how the universe work. I was supposed to have a client, like I said, three, four hours after her. Well, when this client came, you know, he walked in and I'm looking at his head. I'm like, well, what are we doing today? He was like, yeah, I'm about to get ready to move. Remember, you told me to come back before I move so that you can tighten my hair up. Y'all, I really ain't have to do nothing. Whatever he had been doing at the house, I told him to keep doing that. Like, he don't need a retwist until the end of March. He was very appreciative of the fact that I didn't try to take his money. I didn't try to just do something to his head and just take his money. I refunded him his deposit and he asked me to oil his scalp and that's what I did. And he got him some chips, y'all, and he left. Me personally, that money gonna come back. So I'm not really after your money at all. I'm after the healthiness of your scalp, point blank, period. Oh, and the money. Not. I do need guns. But no, I was saying how the universe works because I was really tired. Like, I was really tired. His appointment was at 4 p.m. in the evening. I normally do not take clients at 4 p.m. I don't even know how my schedule allowed him to book. At 4 p.m., y'all. And he walked in. I said, oh, like, I just took that blessing. I really, I don't know if the, I count my small blessings. Please count your small blessings, no matter what it is. Count those blessings and keep it pushing and go do something that you need to be doing, okay? So we getting down to the nitty gritty, about to get into the style. I don't know if y'all can see what we watching, but we were watching Stealth Brothers with Will Ferrell. And come to find out, this is like my client favorite movie. Like she watched it on repeat for a long time. So if you're looking at this video for real, you will see her kind of like giggle or she might be mouthing off the like when I tell you this girl knew this movie from beginning to end like it was so funny and I also kind of know it from beginning to end because when you a stylist and you have a tv inside your um salon you kind of end up watching the same thing over and over and over like y'all when the Maria movie came out I watched that movie 10 times that Tyler Perry movie, Madea's Homecoming, and the Beyonce tribute and everything that was at the end. I watched that movie at least 10 times in one week. I promise you I can know it by heart. I would say some parts of it, but I don't really feel like it right now. Okay, now Miss Girl, just like that, she's going under the dry 20 minutes, and we're back. Taking off these clips, we're gonna get ready to get into this style. I left her under there for a good little minute, y'all can see how crisp everything really looks. So like I said, we're doing a ponytail, and if you can notice, I am pulling the locks up one by one so that we're not losing the, I don't know what word I'm looking for, so that we're not losing that. Please don't judge me. She has the video going because I needed to see how many locks she had out in the front of her ponytail. Now, my client probably just going to sit here and keep watching the video because if y'all see, the movie that went off on us and we kind of just chilling at this point. So, let's go ahead and get her palm tree rolling and I'll be right back.
Right now, I want y'all to look at the base of the lock. You notice that I'm spiraling it and I am angling them back into the ponytail. I'm trying to get it as flat as possible because like I said, I like, I normally for a ponytail, I will angle, for any style, I will angle the locks in the direction that they're supposed to go. Cause if you see that little hump thing, and if you notice that her edges, they just go flat into it. Like that's what I personally like. I like that flat into it type look. So yeah, next time I'm gonna stick to what I'm supposed to stick to, but it still turned out very, very pretty. Y'all let's see at the end, still turned out bomb. Stop playing. So let me tell you, to keep the tension down, I decided to do this ponytail in two sections. Now you're gonna see once I do this ponytail, this part of the ponytail, I'm only gonna wrap the rubber band around one time. All my clients know Dime does not care for rubber bands on locks because if you know over time, if you had locks for a minute, you know over time those locks, those locks, those rubber bands will kill your hair. Y'all ever notice how people have like little stringy pieces those are those rubber bands. And if you leave those rubber bands on for too long, it's, it's doing nothing but thinning out your hair. I always tell them, if I put rubber bands on your hair, please leave this style in for like one month, you know. Take the rubber bands off. Please take the rubber bands off because we don't need any problems. And I also try to only put the rubber band on two times, two to three times. So right here, real quick, you notice that I'm trying to make sure that the ponytail is as flat and it's flat and sorry, I'm running the brain fart. It's flat as possible. Right here, I thought that I was gonna put that up there in that bun. But we do not want to add any tension. We don't want to add any stress. That's what she laughing about right now because she was like, ooh, I was about to say something right then, baby, that wasn't going to work. I already knew it wasn't going to work because ain't nothing worse than a stressed out ponytail. I'm telling you now. You think it's cute, but it really hurts. It's really painful. And it's very damaging to your hair. So we're going to put some two strands in the back, do the petals at the top, two strands in the front. Let's get back into the tunes. Watch our family grow into something great. The window to the soul made me realize that fate was real. You stayed at home, made sure I had my mail. Checked up on me uh, when I'm feeling ill. Call you over for some. So, this color that y'all see in her hair, she actually did it herself, and I like to think that she did a good job. A really good job. She was saying it wasn't the color she was really going for, but. Y'all know how it is when you're coloring your hair, especially like at the house. Whew, alright. <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Trout. Wave it. Thought. Thought. Hey. Girl, I love the way you thought. Yeah. You thought. She thought. Swear I love the way she throw it, throw it back. Yeah, I'm back. They like shady where you at. I've been in the studio trying to make the bitches clap. And you know I never cap. When I fuck, I make her tap. Swear that as a trampoline when I hit it back. So one thing about a two strand twist is all in the freak of the wrist. Like I cannot stress that enough. You want to make sure you're twisting and twisting at the same time. If you don't know what I mean, find you a YouTube video. I don't have one that gets into the details of what I mean by twisting, twisting. I might actually should add that to my list of things to do. But that is what makes the twist look the best. If it's a loose twist, you, you're going to tell the difference. It's not going to be, 
as cute as you wanted to be. I promise y'all I'm not pulling her head. I promise y'all I'm not pulling her head. I'm not. Oh, we, yeah, that's what I want to try to see. Flat, spin it back around, baby. All right, I'm not going to show much of this pedal. I put this gold trim around because the rubber band that I used, it wasn't tight enough for me to do the pedals. So I had to put this gold trim around to secure the ponytail. Hey, everybody looking at a pony in the tie. Now I will show y'all a little bit of the pedals. You just fold it in half. Put your van on there, like I said, about two, maybe three times. Two is really good. Three, um, you're kind of doing too much, but I understand if you put three on there. And you're just gonna keep doing this thing all around her head. Swear I love the way she throw it, throw it back. Yeah. I ain't that shoddy yeah. waist doing laps. Yeah. It's like bum 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 bum. Every time she make it clap, yeah. yeah. Now right here, I started noticing, okay, this one by one is going to take a little bit longer. So I started doing them two by two and splitting it just a little bit, yeah. And I actually like the way that looks, so I continue to go along with that. Art always remain teachable. You should be learning every day. Every day you should be learning. Let's get back into this bullying. Man, I love the way she throw it, throw it. Is you gon' roll with me, baby girl, or what? I'm gon' stay by your side and never slide when she get tough. Don't listen to them bitches, they just mad cause they not us. They on the outside looking in, they don't know nothing. Ay. They don't know nothing. So tell me how the fuck they really know what's up with us. I told you from the jump, these folks gon' start to mess it up. I don't care about no rumor, they gon' talk no matter what. Them niggas broke your heart, you shouldn't have never gave it up. Tore it into a little piece, and now I'm here to pick that up. Another thing, trial and error. I tried to do the two, but I noticed that that wasn't really working for that partic those two particular locks. So I had to go back and put just one. You might notice as I'm doing this bun, well, it's about over now. But some of them were two, and some of them were just one. Bam. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait till I give her the mirror. Like, look, my girl already dancing. She already jigging and vibrating. Look at her. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little too excited. Every style comes with oil. I actually was supposed to put the oil on before we did the style. So you will notice that. I'm kind of just following in the parts that we can see. I'm going to put some inside of that bun since I kind of missed it. But if you know about wild growth oil, then you know that this oil sits in your scalp for a good little minute. So I highly recommend wild growth oil. You should be able to find it at your beauty supply store. Listen, I had told her to turn her hair real quick so we can get it to these edges. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just watch this. Watch this beautiful thing. First of all, y'all, my girl walked in. She was already glowing. She was already glowing. I said, baby, you happy. And I see it on your face. It's just all up in there. Look at it. She's always a bomb. All my clients are always the bomb. They always have great energy. Look at her. This is going to be beautiful, y'all. But she walked in. I'm like, girl, you glowing. Like, you shining. What are you doing? Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Like, I'm proud of you. I don't even know what you're doing at this point. And y'all know sometimes that's all people really need to hear is that somebody can see that 
what I'm doing. Somebody can't acknowledge what I'm doing. Somebody sees the hard work that I'm putting in. You know, I might not be talking about what I'm doing, but somebody sees it. Look at that suit. Ooh, 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 suit, do why I keep doing it? I'm trying to make it go do and it go don't. But look, we're going to drown. Yeah, yeah, get into it. Okay, hold on, wait a minute, y'all, because I'm getting real hype. I'm getting really excited. I just love this style. I love the way it looks. I love what my clients bring me, you know. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, that's the one. That's the one, baby. Yes, y'all see it. She going to give me that every time. We going to do this every time. Oops, hold on. Yeah, give us a minute. Give us a minute. Get into it. Please, yes, that's what we need. That's what the girls want. <laughs> that's what the girls want. Boom. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Ma'am. Mrs. <laughs> oh. Y'all, I put my heart into this. It's beautiful. I love it. If you love it, drop me a couple blue hearts in the chat. Drop me a couple blue butterflies in the chat. Drop me anything blue in the chat. I know we got a lot of pink going on, but drop me some blue in the chat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. That's how you do it. Thanks for your time. We're done.